just so well built. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Uh, oh. The fireplace is literally sitting there like a piece of furniture. You just... A Hometown is a show that feels like a warm hug or a binge-worthy experience on a Sunday evening because it's definitely going to remind you of your hometown. Ben Napier has been running this reality show for seven seasons, and he's become kind of a celebrity in not just his small town, but in all of the U.S., Ben, along with his wife, flipped some of the oldest and creepiest places into a dream house, and we've got to say that he has a knack for woodworking. He spent years polishing his craft, and now he looks at a house and instantly makes an image in his mind of what it's going to look like after flipping. However, lately he's been missing from our screens and his fans are wondering what really happened to Ben Napier from hometowns. Do you want to go look inside? Yes, yes we do. We can't wait to see that. Come Let's on. go see it. Come on in. Oh my God. Oh my. Yes. <laughs> yes. Before Ben Napier became the skilled woodworker and host that we know and love, he was actually a very religious person. He comes from a family of ministers, and both his father and mother were also ministers, so he felt like it's his responsibility to be one too. From the very beginning, he was trained to work in a church, and he actually became a minister at a very young age too. But he was involved in woodworking from the very beginning, and he used to turn the most crappy things into aesthetic and modern stuff in no time. He used to get a lot of compliments for that too, and eventually woodworking became his passion. But he was also working a full-time job as a youth minister in a Methodist church at that time, so he knew that he had to make a choice and pick one career path that he actually wanted. So he started working with different businesses and honed his skills while being a full-time woodworker. He also met the love of his life on the way and today we know them as Ben and Erin, the epic duo. Ben still is rather religious and he tries to practice as much as he can, but his focus is on his career now and the show has turned him into a kind of big deal now, so everyone wants him to design countertops and cupboards for them. But now they're working for a greater cause as the authorities want them to transform the vintage town into something a little more modern that could attract the investors. So Ben has been taking up all the woodwork while his wife is also helping him equally by managing the graphic and visual design departments. They've made a team for this task and are trying to renovate. And when the two aren't renovating houses and buildings across town, they're working on their health and taking care of their daughters, which obviously seems like a whole other full-time job. Just when Ben was on the peak of his career, he gained a lot of weight. Although he was already a bigger man and he even revealed that everyone in his family was comparatively bigger, but during 2014 and 15 he realized how unhealthy he was and how he needed to make some changes in his life. He got really messy during the most hectic woodworking tasks and he didn't even get time to clean his shop. So he hardly had any time left for himself. But when he started having some health issues, it was a huge eye-opener for him. He looked at his daughter and he never really wanted to leave her, but he knew that if he continued his lifestyle like this, he won't be around for long. So he started making some healthy changes in his life and it turned out to be the best decision of his life. He ended up losing 55 pounds and became a lot healthier, and all he did was incorporate some cardio and weight training into his daily life. Besides that, a huge part of his weight loss journey was eating healthy, and he said goodbye to his love for greasy bacon. The Napier family has also been trying to stay away from social media because all the fame has surely taken a toll on them, and they're coming across some pretty scary things. Ben doesn't really like to feature his little daughters on the show that often, and even if they're seen, their faces are mostly blurry, which makes it really hard to recognize them. I told them. Helen that she was going to have a, a sibling, and she said, it's a gal. It's a gal. And she said, because uh, Mallory, who's on the show, had you know just had Lottie, and um, Helen said, like, Lottie? And we were like, well, yeah. It's maybe. all because Ben doesn't want to invade the privacy of his daughters even before they're at an age of making a decision whether they want to star in the reality show or not. 
But the worst thing happened despite them being so protective of the children is creeps are literally everywhere. It all started when a very strange man shifted near their house. He was more than 50 years old and was from California. But the shady thing was that he used to dress as if he's the stormtrooper from Star Wars and he even used to wear some sort of bracelet on his ankle. And wait until you hear about what he had in his house. Well, nothing. Yeah, he didn't have anything with him and lived in an empty house with just a suitcase. For the man who didn't have much furniture or even plates to eat food, he had toys for Ben's kids, especially for Helen, who was really young, and he gave nightmares to the family. The man used to say things like, he's been sent from God and he's their savior and he'll be protecting all the women of the town from evil. But he specifically said he wants to save Helen, which was the most traumatic thing for Ben to hear about his daughter from a 50-year-old man, especially when he's well aware of his intentions. And the worst part is that the man stayed around the corner from Ben and his family and Ben had to call in security who was with his daughters 24-7. It was the hardest time of his life because he's never been so afraid of his daughter's safety before this. The man even tried to follow the little girls and walked with their nanny when they went out to hang out in the park for a bit. He even said some pretty nasty things to the nanny in front of the girls and this incident has scared the whole family for life. They're now more conscious than before and try to keep their daughters away from the spotlight as much as possible. And this incident showed them that no matter how famous or powerful you are, there would be times when you'll feel helpless and this was one of those times for Ben. However, he and the other town people didn't just sit quietly. They constantly complained about the man and how he was being really shady with all the women and little girls of the town. Fortunately, the authorities didn't push this matter under the rug and quickly took notice because of the huge number of complaints. Inquiry was initiated against the man and he was never seen in the neighborhood again. Another scary part is that it was all happening during the time when Ben's wife was nine months pregnant and really struggling. So after this, Ben started walking on thin ice and always made sure that the privacy of his daughters wasn't breached in any way. Ben has been away from the spotlight for quite a while now, and although he's still flipping houses in his old fashion, he's not seen on talk shows and interviews as often. He actually has been a little unwell, and slight shoulder pain eventually became his nightmare over the years. He thought that the pain would go away, but it just kept increasing, to the point where he couldn't even perform the most basic tasks. He then had to get surgery that took him months to recover from and was quite painful too. His wife revealed that the doctors had to shave his bone spur and his cartilage also needed to be trimmed, which is why the surgery was inevitable sooner or later. Instead of fighting it, Ben went for the surgery and recovered pretty soon. But he didn't just stop there, he also decided to hire a physical therapist and work on his movements regularly so he could heal quickly. The recovery period was really hard for Ben, but it seems like he's back on his feet with his wife and physiotherapist by his side. In fact, he's even dived back into the field with renovating an old house for some first-time buyers, and they ended up falling in love with the house. Ben isn't going to sit on his talent at all, and although the past couple of years have been a little rough on him, he's definitely going to make his business bigger and hire like-minded people while also giving us some much-needed nostalgia by featuring beautiful vintage and Victorian houses on the reality show.